and boys, my name is Mrs. Heinberg and today I'm going to teach you how to light a Bunsen burner. First of all, we need to check the safety measures. We need to check the location of the fire extinguisher and the shower. In the science lab, they are over there and in room 101, they are also just by the door. We also check where the fire blanket is in case someone catches fire. Next, we check if I'm wearing the safety goggles, and I'm not, so here we go. I know it looks a bit stupid and not very fashionable, but it's for our own safety, surely when we are working with chemicals. Furthermore, I'm wearing my lab coat, I have to tie back my hair, again not very fashionable, but it avoids my hair catching flame easily if a flame comes into my face. Furthermore, are, my, are any loose items tucked away? And they are. Then, we take the Bunsen burner. This is the barrel or the chimney of the Bunsen burner. This is the air hole that we can open using, the, using this uh, regulator thumb wheel. This is open and now it's closed. Over here we have the gas knob or the gas valve. We open it, turning it um, counterclockwise, so that's against the direction of the clock, and we close it clockwise. And on this side we have the fitting for the rubber tubing. This is my rubber tubing. Furthermore, we need some matches. How are we going to do this? First of all, we need to check if the Bunsen burner is positioned on a heat-resistant surface. The tables in the science lab or in the classroom are heat-resistant. If you're not sure, you can use a heat-resistant mat or a tile. Secondly, we check whether the air supply and the gas supply can be regulated easily. Sometimes they are a little bit rusted. Now, this can open easily. And this can open easily. Don't close it too tightly because just now you need to open it quite quickly. Close the air, so the air and gas supply um, just in the way I showed you previously. Then we're going to attach the rubber tubing firmly to the main gas supply by a turning motion and to the Bunsen burner. I do the main supply first because otherwise I can pull around the Bunsen burner and it might fall on the floor. Place the Bunsen burner in the middle of the table, not too near to the edge. Then we open the gas tub. We do that by pulling the knob upwards and turning counterclockwise, which is to the left. Now the gas streams through the rubber tubing up to this point. It can't go further because the knob is closed. Light a match, hold it above three centimeters above the chimney and quickly open the gas supply. And there's your flame. Regulate the gas supply to form a flame more or less as big as your hand, about so big. So I need to make it a bit smaller. There you go. We call this the safety flame. It's a visible yellow flame, and it's obvious why it's called the safety flame. You can see it when people are passing by. When you're not doing anything with your Bunsen burner, you always go back to this safety flame. Now we're going to make a working flame. We open the air hole midway for a hotter, light blue flame. We use this to heat test tubes um, because it burns without giving soot. I'll show you in the next video how we're going to heat uh, some water. Um, if we open the air hole more, we get a hot 
uh, if a hotter, non-luminous flame, which we call the roaring flame, it makes noise. To switch the burner off, go through the same steps in opposite order. We close the air hole. There's our safety flame again. We close the gas. We close the main tap by turning to the right and we detach the rubber tubing from the burner turn in a turning motion and from the main valve. And then we clean everything up. Beware, the burner could be hot, so hold it by its base and, um, or leave it to cool down before transporting it. Thank you for listening and good luck with your practical.